For those of you who have not heard of Gmail, Gmail is a service from Google. It is free. It's a competitor to services like Hotmail and Yahoo Mail and some of the other web-based mails. And over the course of the next three or so videos, I want to share some of the features of Gmail and why I made the change from Outlook to Gmail and I won't go back. The features that brought me to Gmail and will keep me here unless something even better comes along include fast web access from any computer, fast access from many cell phones, Google is offering this service, so obviously it has great searching capabilities. It has great spam filtering. I previously used CloudMark with Outlook, which is outstanding, but the Gmail anti-spam system is equally as good. It has the ability to retrieve POP or IMAP email from another service. I never have to worry about losing an email because they give you nearly 7 gigabytes of space, and it's always growing, as you can see on their home page. And then once I understood the system, Gmail's label system is a very superior system to making folders in a traditional email program. If you don't already use one of Google's services like a customized home page or maybe Google Docs, then you'll have to go to gmail.com and sign up for a Gmail account. It's fast and easy, very short form. Fill out the form, submit it, and you'll instantly be in your account. Once you get in your Gmail account, you'll see this configuration. Gmail puts all of your new email in the inbox, like any email program, unless you've created filters, and then you have it filter out to some of your other labels. We'll talk about that in a future video. But just to quickly give you an overview of the inbox, like any other inbox, you've got your person who it's from, the subject of the message, as well as the time it was sent. So you get all that in just like any other inbox. To read a message, simply click on the message, and then it'll show up and you can read the message. To go back to the inbox, click back to the inbox, and there you are. I'm going to go back and look at that message real quick. If I want to print a message, I can click print, and it'll print all the messages in this thread. And we're going to talk about that in future videos. Another feature I didn't list earlier, but I think is another great feature of Gmail, and it's threaded emails. Once you learn about that and see how well it works, you will never look at email the same again. If I want to reply to this message, I click reply. If I want to do anything else with the message, I click the little arrow here off to the side, and then I can use any one of the other features in the pull-down menu. When I'm reading a message, if I scroll to the bottom of it, there's a little blank white box, and that little blank white box is an automatic reply. So if I just click one time in that blank white box, a reply immediately comes up that I can type the reply and then send it right from that box. Very quick, very easy, crucial to all Gmail users how to compose an email from scratch. And there's a little link right here for it, right up in the upper left hand corner. If I click it, it gives me a form to fill out and create my message. The address book system in Gmail works extremely well. When I want to access an address, all I need to do is type in the first couple characters of a person that I want to send to, and then it'll narrow down the list for me, and I can immediately click on the person I want to send to. If I need to add someone else to the to line, I can do the same thing, just start typing some characters, and it'll bring up a list, and I can choose from that list. If I need to do a blind carbon copy or a carbon copy. You've got those links here to add a carbon copy or a blind carbon copy. So you can do that just like any other email. Add my subject and then I can attach files. If I click attach file it'll be exactly like it is in most other systems where I can browse, choose a file, it comes up and you're good to go. You can add as many files as you want there. Then of course the body of the message I can type and send out what I want. Once I'm finished, I can save it as a draft, or I can send it, or if I'm just fooling around like we're here today, I'll just discard that message altogether. Very quick, very easy to send email. Now, we talked about contacts. That's also very important for a lot of folks. It should be important. And the address book is very intuitive, as you just saw with the sending email. But if I click contacts off to the left here, it brings up my address book. To add a new contact, I just simply click the little person up here, new contact, fill in the form. If I want to put in more information like business addresses and home addresses and things like that, you can do as much as you want by clicking on the add. To import an existing address book, click the import button here on the right hand, upper right hand side, 
it only supports what's called a comma separated value format. That's a whole other video I've done in the past on how to save your email address book so that you can back it up. This is where it comes in handy. You can save it in that format, browse to it, and pull it in. So that's the quick overview of Gmail. You've got your inbox, how to compose an email, and we looked at contacts and how to add and import contacts to your Gmail. And in the next video, we're going to go in a little bit further to some more advanced features of Gmail.